Abla Nathan Alba. Abla Nathan Alba. Power words. Power magic. The words carries not only meaning and significance, but also vibrations. They vibrate in your body and they vibrate in the cosmos. And they are your tools to create a separate magical reality. In this video, we will explain a bit more about power words. Throughout history, words have held a profound significance in the realm of magic and mysticism. The power of syllables, particularly in the context of magical words, is a concept rooted deep in ancient traditions and esoteric literature. I will discuss the intimate relationship between sounds, syllables, and their magical potency, exploring how words are used in incantations, evocations and invocations. I will also trace the historical evolution of power words and present to you the underlying principles that make certain syllables particularly effective in magical practices. Power words such as Abraxas, Ablanatanopa, and even the meanwhile mundane Abracadabra. But watch that last words. If you really go for it, experiment with it. It is extremely powerful. It is a word linked to the god Abraxas. In ancient civilization, the use of syllables in magic has been used in Egypt, Mesopotamia, India. The old Fennic mantras are representatives of this. Exact pronunciation is needed for optimal effects. In these cultures, specific words and sounds were believed to harness divine power and influence the material world. For instance, in ancient Egypt, the name of the god Ra was considered so potent that it could be used to invoke his presence and protection. Similarly, as said in the Vedic traditions of mantras, specific syllables were used to connect with higher spiritual realms. During the medieval and renaissance periods, the study of magic became more structured, with grimoires and magical texts outlining the precise use of words and sounds. The key of sound and the Ars Verti are prime examples where specific incantations and evocations are meticulously detailed. These texts emphasize the importance of pronunciation and the vibrational qualities of the words, underscoring the belief that sound frequencies can alter reality. Sound frequencies can create reality. Sound frequencies are vibrations in the magical realm. In modern esoteric traditions, such as the Telema and the Wicca, the power of words continue to play a central role. Alistair Crawley, the magician of the 20th century, extensively explored the use of the power of words in his magical practices, often employing complex invocations and evocations. Contemporary Magical practitioners such as chaos magicians rely on the ancient wisdom of syllables, but adapt them to new contexts and new spiritual paradigms. Incantations are verbal spells that are spoken or chanted to produce a magical effect. The power of an incantation lies in its ability. 
For example, the word Aum in Hinduism and the Vedic traditions is considered to be the sound of the universe and encapsulating the essence of creations and existence and ending in utter silence. Evocations involve summoning spirits, entities or gods or angels or archangels to appear and assist us in magical workings. The precision of the spoken word is crucial in these rituals. The names of the deities and spirits are often derived from ancient languages such as Hebrew, Latin or Greek or Coptic speech, carrying vibrational frequencies that are believed to compel the entity to respond. The syllables must be articulated correctly to ensure the desired outcome, as any deviation can result in unintended consequences. This is especially pointed out by the Vedic mystics related to Vedic mantras. Invocations are similar to evocations, but are typically directed towards deities or higher powers inviting them to enter the magician's space of consciousness. The power of syllables and invocations lies in the ability to align the practitioner with divine energies, to focus his intent, to create the landscape of his magic. Sacred chants, sacred hymns and prayers are forms of invocations that use rhythmic and repetitive syllables to create a connection with the divine. You can allow yourself to experiment with repetitiveness and rhythm of sacred words and you will find out the profound effect of these words. One of the core principles behind the use of syllables in magic is the concept of vibration and frequency. Each syllable produces a specific sound wave that can influence the energy around us and in it. The idea supported by the science of kinematics, which studies the visual effects of sound vibration on matter that the Klotny plates is very well known. In magical practices, the right combination of syllables can create harmonious vibration that align with the practitioner's intentions. The effects of sounds of matter you can easily experience yourself if you fill a Tibetan sound bowl in with water and create the sound wave. You will see the clotney patterns on the water surface. Some of our videos in this channel are demonstrating this phenomenon. The structure of magical words often follows patterns of sacred geometry and phonetics. The geometrical arrangement of letters and the phonetic qualities of syllables are believed to have intrinsic power. For example, the tetragrammaton is considered one of the most powerful names of God in the Hebrew tradition. Its syllables are not just letters but symbols that represent the fundamental elements of creation. Just as O, A, I are three syllables carrying forth the power of Abraxas, where the E stands for his spear, the O for his shield and the A for his body. The effectiveness of magical words also depend on the practitioner's intent and focus. The act of speaking an incantation, an evocation or invocation is not merely a mechanical process, but a deep intentional and emotional act. The practitioner's mental and emotional state imbues 
the syllables with power, enhancing their ability to manifest the desired outcome. The psychological impact of sounds plays also a significant role in the efficacy of magical words. Certain syllables can influence altered states of consciousness as you self will find out, facilitating a deep connection with the spiritual realm. Chanting mantras and holy words can produce a meditative state that enhances the practitioner's ability to focus and direct his energy. Syllables used in magical practices often have a spiritual resonance that transcends their literal meaning. This resonance is rooted in the collective unconscious, the field where Carl Gustav Jung was working on where archetypical sounds and words carry profound symbolic significance. The syllable Ao is a prime example, representing the primordial sound of the universe and embodying the essence of spiritual reality. The word Abraxas we have explored in our videos quite a bit. It originates from Gnostic traditions, particularly associated with the Basilidian sect of ancient Alexandria in Egypt. Abraxas was considered a supreme deity who embodied both good and evil, transcending the dualistic nature of existence. The word Abraxas is composed of seven letters. A number often associated with perfection and completeness in mystical traditions. And additionally, the numerical value of the words in, based on the Greek letters adds up to 365, symbolizing the days of the year in the totality of the cosmos. Abraxas is involved in rituals seeking balance and the integration of opposites. The syllables are believed to resonate with the cosmic forces of unity, making it a powerful word for transformative magic. Then Abracadabra. This word has a rich history dating back to ancient Roman, Hebrew and Greek traditions. It was first documented in the Liber Medicinalis by Serenus Samonicus, a physician in the Roman Empire, as a charm against illness. But its roots are far more ancient and are supposed to be in Egypt, where it was linked with the emergence of the deity Abraxas. The visual and phonetic tapering of Abracadabra is believed to diminish negative energies and create harmony. Ablanatanoba is a palindrome. You can read it from right to left and left to right. This word is found in Gnostic amulets and magical texts. Its origins are obscure, but it is believed to be a very powerful word linked also to the god Abraxas. Syllables in magical words. Magical words themselves can create reality, can create magical reality, and the words and power words are your tools to create your life, your environment, and your universe. Together, as co-creators of your life, with the divine, with the God of your preference, with the divine principles or angelic forces, words will be able to help you creating your environment, your intent, and your life. Use the words, use the magic of the words, and grasp the multi dimensions of magical words which can enrich your life 
and help you to become centered, aware, self-conscious and continuously in a state of self-remembering. I hope.